So, what about this problem? The top of the tree having an angle of elevation, so this is the tree, and the man is at point A, the angle of elevation meaning the angle from horizontal going up. From horizontal going down, that is angle of depression. So, its angle of elevation is 20 degrees. Then, he walked towards the tree, 75 meters, and now the angle of elevation of the top of the tree is 40 degrees. We are asked here to find the height of the tree. So, take note, this right triangle and this right triangle have common element and that is the height so let me call b to c as x now from this right triangle we have here that the tangent of 40 degrees is h over x or from here take note we are looking for h so we need an equation containing h only so from here we can see that x is equal to h over the tangent of 40 degrees let me call this equation one now moving to this right triangle now the tangent of 20 degrees is equal to the opposite which is h over the adjacent 75 plus x you substitute equation 1 this one for x and you'll get an equation all in terms of h so you'll get here the tangent of 20 degrees is equal to h over 75 plus h over the tangent of 40 degrees so this is one equation in terms of h input it in your calculator and you will get here 48 point 21 meters so this is your h you follow now there is another solution to this which i call as the peripheral angle theorem so other authors other books call it inscribed angle theorem Whoa. okay now the key here is observing that this is twice this angle if you remember the peripheral angle theorem that if I have here a circle and this is the center now if I choose any sector here if this angle is theta this is theta this is theta this arc opposite the central angle is also theta in terms of linear measure that is theta r so we know the formula S is theta r, but in terms of angular measure, this is the same as the central angle. Now, if I will choose any angle opposite this arc on the periphery whose vertex is on the periphery of the circle, like for example, this one. So this angle is a peripheral angle. If this is gamma, take note that gamma is theta over 2 half of this or theta is twice of gamma so if you notice a double or half angle relationship in the given then this theorem applies so since this is the double angle you can treat this as the center of the circle in as much as this is our half angle we treat this as the periphery of the circle so we draw a circle with this as the center and this on the periphery so it means they are both opposite the same arc right so it means if we draw an arc something like this like that so this is the center the common arc is this one so therefore we say that from center to this, this is radius. From center to this, this is also radius. So this must be 75, right? So therefore, from this triangle now, I don't need to solve x. So therefore, we just say that h is simply the hypotenuse 75. 
And this is opposite this angle. So this is 75 sine of 40 degrees. And this is equal to 48.21 meters. Do you follow? If you understand the peripheral angle theorem, the peripheral angle theorem is simplest. You get it? A tank containing 0.6 meter deep water is transported by an elevator. So, what is the pressure at the bottom of the tank when the elevator accelerates 2 meter per second squared upward? Huh? Now, without the acceleration, only under statics, the pressure at point A is simply gamma of water times H, right? But if there is an acceleration, this basic formula is to be multiplied by 1 plus or minus A over G. G is the acceleration due to gravity. You use plus if the acceleration is upward. You use minus if the acceleration is downward. So therefore, in this problem, this is going to be 9.81 times H, 0 0.6 times 1 plus, because the acceleration is upward, A which is 2 over 9.81. And this is going to be 7.086 kilopascal. Ini-invite ko po kayo na mag-enroll sa... Paparating na November 7 to November 14, final coaching program po namin. Ano po ang highlight nitong final coaching program natin? Number one, it will be a complete discussion of complete civil engineering board exam November 2019. Yan yung, po, yung pinaka latest. Iba kapag ka nakita mo yung latest, yung talagang as in latest board exam dahil yung probability na uu, mauulit yung ilan o mga 20% ng mga problems na yan mataas po. So saka based on that complete, bali po mga 200 problems na isosolve, makikita mo magkaka-idea ka ano ba yung mga possible pang lumabas. Pangalawa po, Dahil lalo na yung mga medyo uh, nataranta, kinapos, meron po tayo ng pangalawang highlight nitong coaching program, yung survival techniques. Ano ang gagawin mo kapag ka hindi mo na alam kung anong gagawin? Di ba? Hirap, di ba? Pangatlo po, ang highlight po is tuturuan ko po kayo nung scientific guessing. So, paanong manghula ng yung hula mo mas malamang tama? Kasi kapag ka pachamba-chamba ka lang na blind guess, walang art, walang science, yung panghula mo malamang mali. Di po ba? Pero eto po, ituturo ko yung science ng pag-guess ng tama. So enroll po kayo dito sa final coaching program natin ngayong November 7 to November 14 po. Ito po ay para sa preparation natin sa November 14 to 15 civil engineering board exam. So, kita-kita po tayo.